If you grew up in or around Asheville, chances are <laughs> you've heard about Helen's Bridge. Yeah, located on Bowcatcher Mountain, legend has it it's haunted by a woman who hanged herself from the bridge after the death of her young daughter. News 13's Megan Shearing is streaming live with this Halloween night special report. And Megan, the story that's been passed around for generations may not be true. Yeah, that's right, Darso, because uh, there is no record supporting this story. But what is fact is that for 50 plus years, this bridge has been giving people of all ages the chills. If you're brave enough to risk the ride. This is your last chance to leave the ghost trolley. There's a trolley of ghost tales taking the curious to one of the most haunted places in Asheville. Oh, hideous, hair-raising, godforsaken backwoods. You could possibly imagine. Then imagine this. We are pulling up slowly underneath. Legend has it. The infamous Helen's Bridge. A mother so grief-stricken over her daughter's death in a fire hanged herself from this bridge on Bowcatcher Mountain. But it doesn't end there. I get uneasy every single time we do this. Joshua Warren is a paranormal investigator and author. The most popular story has been people encountering the mother, and she looks at them very pale and says, have you seen my daughter? And it sends a little chill down their spine every single time. While writing his book, Haunted Asheville, Warren wanted to separate tale from truth. We don't know if the, the legend is actually true. We do know, however, that um, there was a suicide that occurred near this bridge. A workman killed himself. Historian Vance Pollock says that much is true. He found an article in the Asheville Gazette from May 6, 1906. Pollock says the man who killed himself was an employee of Philip S. Henry, the owner of Zelandia Castle, and the man who built the bridge. But why? Is it called Helen's Bridge? There's uh, probably uh, not too much of a stretch to assume that it's borrowed from Helen Clevenger. In one of Asheville's most infamous murder cases, college student Helen Clevenger was shot and beaten to death in 1936. Her body was found at the Battery Park Hotel. The investigation uh, pointed fingers at so many different people until finally they pinned it on a, a young hall boy. Many believe the man convicted of killing Clevenger didn't do the crime. So Helen's spirit is hanging around to get justice. Two tragic stories, but there's only one ghost. And maybe, you know, through the telling and retelling, it becomes uh, merged into one convenient, clean little story that you can tell to the kids in five minutes and then let's go up to the bridge. And if you don't believe any story, maybe you'll believe this. A picture recently taken at the top of the bridge by a local woman. After she posted it on Facebook, it went viral. The photo of the little girl here is definitely a creepy picture. There's no doubt about it. And when you look at it, I mean, you can see there is a clear figure there of a little girl. We don't know yet whether or not the photo is completely legitimate. We have a lot more analysis to do. You probably want to say Helen come forth, don't you? For those who don't believe in ghosts, there's still something about taking a ride into the realm of the unknown that excites the imagination. Sometimes somebody sees something that scares them half to death. Therefore, it's one thing to come up here and expect to have fun, but there is a real little risk factor here. And whether it's our minds playing tricks on us, or a true haunting. Helen, come forth. Helen, come forth. A word of warning from Warren and Pollock. When you come here, regardless of what your motivation is, you better be very respectful. Because if you're not, something bad could happen to you. And as we come back out here live, uh, Asheville police say that they plan on having extra patrols up here because this story is so popular. You can actually see there are people walking behind me trying to see if they can see any sort of spirit. I have not come across any yet, but I don't plan on sticking around long enough to try and see any. Reporting live in Asheville tonight, Megan Shearing, News 13.